Immunotherapy is an encouraging treatment approach for mesothelioma that has shown promising results in clinical trials. Immunotherapy, also called biologic therapy, works by helping the body's own immune system fight cancer. It does this by either stimulating the immune system to work harder or helping the immune system recognize and attack cancer cells. One of the major benefits of immunotherapy is that it harnesses the power of the patient's own immune system to fight the cancer. Traditional treatments like chemotherapy work systemically to target all rapidly dividing cells in the body, both cancerous and healthy. This can lead to harmful side effects. Immunotherapy is a more targeted approach that aims to specifically activate the immune system against cancer cells while leaving healthy cells alone. This can translate to improved side effect profiles for patients. Several types of immunotherapy drugs are currently being studied for mesothelioma including checkpoint inhibitors, vaccines, and cytokines. Checkpoint inhibitors like anti-PD-1 and anti-CTLA-4 drugs work to take the brakes off the immune system. They block proteins called checkpoint proteins that help keep the immune system from attacking the body's own tissues. By blocking these checkpoint proteins like PD-1 and CTLA-4, the immune cells called T cells can more effectively seek out and destroy cancer cells. Research has shown that checkpoint inhibitor drugs like nivolumab and bambrolizumab produce overall response rates of around 15 to 20 percent when given as monotherapy to patients with advanced mesothelioma who have progressed after chemotherapy. Some patients have experienced impressive responses, though, with their tumor shrinking significantly or even disappearing. Responses have also been shown to last for over a year in some cases treated with checkpoint inhibitors alone, which is considered a substantial benefit compared to standard chemotherapy. Combination immunotherapy is also being explored to further build upon these positive results. For example, studies have found that combining the anti-CTLA-4 drug from Lemumab with Nivolumab led to response rates of around 30 to 35 percent during median overall survival of over 12 months, which is a notable improvement over chemotherapy alone. Larger phase 3 trials are still ongoing to confirm these benefit. But initial data is promising that combination checkpoint blockade may become a new standard of care. Vaccine immunotherapy is another approach being studied. These treatments attempt to condition the immune system to recognize cancer cells as foreign and dangerous by exposing it to antigens, proteins found on tumor cells. One vaccine therapy called desamotide showed encouraging results in phase 2 trials, doubling median overall survival when combined with chemotherapy compared to chemotherapy alone. However, Phase 3 trial results were disappointing and did not show a clear survival benefit for the combination. Researchers continue working to improve vaccine design. Likewise, certain cytokines, proteins that help stimulate immune activity, have demonstrated anti-tumor activity against mesothelioma when administered systematically or directly into tumors in early phase clinical research. Cytokines that boost immune cell activation like interleukin-2 and granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor warrants further investigation, though tolerability issues remain a concern compared to targeted checkpoint therapies. Combining them with other immunotherapy drugs could potentially enhance outcomes. Beyond effectiveness, another key potential advantage of immunotherapy compared to cytotoxic chemotherapy relates to quality of life. While not universal, immunotherapy treatments tend to cause fewer and milder side effects since they target cancer cells more selectively than traditional chemo which damages rapidly dividing healthy cells too. For example, checkpoint therapies have shown side effect profiles similar to drug administration with less frequent serious immune-related adverse reactions. This improved tolerability can directly benefit patients by allowing them to maintain higher functional status and performance status throughout treatment. Less time spent coping with debilitating side effects means more quality time spent with loved ones. A further benefit of immunotherapy is that it can sometimes produce long-lasting responses. Whereas chemotherapy's effects are transient and tumor growth often resumes once treatment stops. Some immunotherapy patients experience durable remissions lasting years without additional therapy. 
This prolonged control suggests the immune system has developed a memory of the cancer. It remains prepared to prevent future recurrence. Durable clinical benefit means less frequent treatment courses, lower long-term costs, and more time before a patient requires additional lines of therapy later on. However, challenges remain. As with other cancers, not all mesothelioma patients respond to immunotherapy, and biomarkers to predict response are still lacking. More research is still needed to increase response rates and duration of effect. Combination strategies hold promise, but managing immune-related toxicities grows more complex with multiple drugs. High treatment costs also restrict access. Nevertheless, ongoing clinical research continues advancing our understanding to hopefully one day deliver on the ultimate promise of a cure for mesothelioma through immunotherapy. Its targeted mechanism and potential for long-term control without cumulative organ damage are compelling attributes driving its development as a preferred treatment approach. Only further studies will tell if this hope becomes reality. But initial signs are encouraging that immunotherapy may extend and enhance lives of mesothelioma patients in the years to come. Immunotherapy offers benefits by utilizing the body's natural defenses against cancer, potentially improving response rates, survival times, quality of life, and durability of response compared to traditional chemotherapy. Ongoing research is working to expand these benefits to more patients through optimized combinations and biomarker strategies. While challenges remain, immunotherapy represents an encouraging frontier that may eventually lead to better long-term control and even cures of this currently incurable disease.